how many Twinkies should we buy? The next economic concept is thinking about the margin. Well, what is a margin? We can think of the margins of a paper. They're on the edges of the paper. The marginalized are those, again, on the edges of society. In the context of economics, it's going to be the next decision. We need to analyze each decision incrementally. We'll compare the marginal benefit to the marginal cost for each step along the way. So, let's take this important economic principle and apply it to Twinkies. How many Twinkies should we buy? First step, we realize we have to analyze this one Twinkie at a time. On the margin. Okay, so then it is, should I buy one more Twinkie? Now we're going to think about this in cost-benefit. Is the marginal benefit I get from enjoying the Twinkie bigger than the marginal cost? Now remember, the marginal cost is not just the dollars, but it's also the uh, potential imbalance of health, as it were. And, of course, the first Twinkie, the answer is yes. So buy one more, baby. Next step iterate and you keep iterating as long as each additional marginal benefit of the twinkie is bigger than each additional marginal cost thereof however however at some point this will happen to everybody i mean for some it might be two or three for others it might be 30 or 40 you might be somewhere in between you're gonna you're gonna get full like the the cost the pain the over bloated belly it's it's just gonna be too much and you're gonna have to say no Eventually, the marginal cost will be bigger than the marginal benefit. That's the point that you stop. The marginal benefit is just going to keep falling, and the marginal cost is just going to keep going up until eventually they're equal. That's where we stop. That's where economically rational person is. And yes, you should be economically rational when it comes to your Twinkie consumption. We can use this principle nearly everywhere. How many hours should you study? Each hour you go marginal benefit of study, marginal cost of study. Eventually you gotta go to bed. Eventually you have to do some recreation. That spot where marginal benefit equals marginal cost tells you it. How many hours should you work? Remember the opportunity cost of work is what else you could be doing with your time. Yes, you're getting the benefit of the pay, but you're giving up something else along the way. Eventually marginal benefit equals marginal cost and you should stop working. It's not just for individuals. Producers need to ask how many tons of ice cream should Tillamook produce this year? And on the other side, how many times should you eat out this month? Eating out is great. You get so much benefit out of it. But eventually, that marginal cost really starts to increment up. The opportunity cost of eating out is eating groceries at home, which are substantially cheaper. So part of this decision making means that we have to ignore sunk costs. What do I mean by that? These are costs that cannot be reversed. This is a cost that exists regardless of whether you make the choice or not. There's nothing you can do to avoid it. A common example is if you have season tickets to a baseball team and it's raining cats and dogs one of those days. You didn't sleep well the night before. You would rather stay home. The benefit you get from going to the game is smaller than the cost of going to the game. Some people would say, but the cost is zero. I've already paid for those tickets. You go to the game, the marginal cost of attending, it's going to be zero. True, but there's also the cost of your time and the opportunity cost of what you would do instead going to bed early nice and warm and dry another example is the question of whether or not you should continue dating someone if the relationship is going sour it doesn't matter if you've been together for five years that's in the past your decision of whether to continue or not has nothing to do with what was behind you all that matters is where the relationship is going to go in the future of course every relationship has ups and downs but what matters is where you two are going not where you've been are you going to work through and recover, or is this never going anywhere? If they're never going to change, get out. If there's room for growth, have patience and move forward together. Blah, 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 blah. My last point is that we are all connected in this economy. We're not just a group of individuals making economic decisions, trying to maximize our own happiness by ourselves, but our decisions affect every other person and their decisions affect us. We have to take that into account. For example, the creators of Barbie affected the demand for Oppenheimer. And vice versa. There's no doubt that both films did better because of their complementary marketing campaign. Driving a gasoline vehicle contributes to congestion, smog, and global carbon emissions. And more seriously, chocolate purchased across the world is often harvested by child labor in the Ivory Coast. And more positively, free contributions to Wikipedia benefit the entire globe. Economics cares about the well-being of everyone. This class should give you the tools, the perspective, and the power to make this world a better place. Mm -hmm.